The Gons complex consists of a Gons focus, which is the parenchymal lesion, and the hilar lymph nodes. The primary infection of the lung, that is the Gons complex, can go on to become a progressive primary or it may be contained. Contained because of either treatment, which can later on go into reactivation, or because of natural healing, which can also go into reactivation. In this particular radiogram, you have a lymph node in the right paratracheal region and non-homogeneous opacity in the right upper zone. There is no significant compression or obstruction of the airway. So this parenchymal lesion which is the Gons focus and the lymph node form what we call as the primary disease. Now let us have a look at the case scenarios of lymph nodes. So this is a three year old male child and in this radiogram you see this lymph node in the right paratracheal region and there is non-homogeneous opacity in the right middle zone. Now if you look at the corresponding image on a CT scan, you have this as a lymph node which corresponds to the radiological lymph nodes there and inside if you see these hypodensities, these indicates central necrosis which takes the diagnosis away from mal malignancy and more towards tuberculosis. Now if you look at the trachea, you will appreciate that on the right side, this side, the trachea is relatively flattened because of the compression from the lymph node. The lung window also shows infiltrates on the right side. Now this is a three year old male child and you can see a lymph node on the right paratracheal and hilar region, a well defined shadow and non-homogeneous opacities in the right middle and lower zone. If you look at the corresponding mediastinal window of a CT scan, this is the mass and inside this mass you can appreciate these hypodensities indicating central necrosis. Now this is the border of the lump lymph node and now if you focus on the trachea you see there is some flattening on the right side. If I draw a normal trachea it will be something like this and on the right side this is the flattening because of compression from the lymph node. Now this is another two and a half year old child with diagnosis of presumptive TB and you can see there is lymph node in the right hilar paratracheal region as well as on the left side. This is a underexposed film. The primary disease is most commonly seen in young children but it can be seen in any age group. 10% of the primary disease is seen in teenagers. The Gons focus or the parenchymal lesion is a subpleural alveolar space lesion. It may be a small hazy lesion solid or an ill-defined lesion. It may resolve undetected and it can remain dormant like a latent TB. Therefore, a primary disease can be difficult to detect. The right-sided lymph node is more commonly seen and this is because of the lymph node drainage pattern. The right-sided lung drains into the right lymph node but the left lung drains both into the right and the left lymph node. 